Welcome to Nino Speaks. I'm Nino de Verde Rosa, and I'm your host for the next, I believe it's 26 minutes we have to do this show for, which is absolutely amazing. And we have the incredible AJ. But before I say anything else, let me thank our audience out there for um, supporting us and for being with us and for they're subscribing, they're liking us, they're following us. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you very, very much for all that. And now let me take you over to AJ. AJ always introduces our guests. So you go ahead, AJ, because you know more than I do. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Ninon. And I just want to say thank you to you, Ninon, because it's lovely to work with you. And I love our continued success. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, both of us, both of us. It's working together, put it that way. <laughs> yes, and I love that. And, and along those lines, we have two wonderful guests today. We have Patricia Alcave, who is from Las Vegas, and she is a columnist and writer for Mia Magazine. And then we also have the incredible, innovative artist, musical artist, Azo, with his new single, flashbacks. We're going to talk about that and talk about all the fun projects that he and Patricia are involved in. Welcome guests. Hello. 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 It's wonderful to have you. Now, um, Azo, are you uh, in Vegas or what part of the world are you in? Uh, I'm currently in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, I used to own a piece of property up there. I, I had some land up there and uh, sold it a few years, couple two or three years ago, but, um, and I've got a good friend up there as well that's in real estate. So was, what's it doing up there lately? Is it, uh, is it busy? Are they keeping you busy? Yes, it's, um, it's a lot to do and be involved in. I try to keep myself pretty busy. Um, I'm in uh, videography I do a lot of, so that's, that's mostly what my schedule consists of, is, is videography gigs. So what's this, this CD you're bringing out? What, what's this all about? You said the, the new song flashback. Yes, it's it's a um it's just a, a single that I uh, wanted to release to the world to hear um for this year. It's the first one I released this year. Um, it's actually doing pretty well streaming wise. Um, it um actually someone coined a phrase after I released the song. They they said I make tiptoe music. I'm not <laughs> tiptoe tip through the tulips. Yes. <laughs> it's the only tiptoe I know is, is tiptoeing through the tulips. <laughs> Patricia, how are you? Patricia, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? I'm very excited to be with you. Thank you for the invitation. I love it. Absolutely wonderful. I'm surprised I have not met you. I live in Vegas as well, so I'm surprised I haven't met you. I'm sort of a bit of around town. Um, I have another show called Vegas Live with Ninon. I don't know if you've heard of that show, but it's it's pretty um, out there. And uh, but you're a writer. Yeah, I write for magazines mostly, and uh, you know, mostly about entertainment and promoting all what's going on in Las Vegas. I've been doing it for more than twenty years since I got here. Goodness. Radio, everything. You know, I'm so excited. I'm still excited with Las Vegas. <laughs> it keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? You know, you don't know what's going on or what's happening. What is going on in Vegas anyway? What's happening? It's a lot happening. Uh, everything is being reopened, the shows, everything. But it's still kind of careful, you know, be careful. Because it's a lot of people that is not really being conscious about that. We still have the COVID-19. And we need to be more conscious in order to be, to get rid of it faster and sooner uh if uh, we all take care of it you know with your face mask washing your hands using wipes everywhere you know uh, but you know america has never been so clean <laughs> yeah. my, it's my never hands. been so clean our houses are like you know you can eat off the floor and everything i don't know about mine but they do most houses you can exactly <laughs> my poor hands are like cartoon you know like cardboard. I know, clean 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 <laughs> Yeah. We've all, every single woman, well, everybody has become cleaners exactly. <laughs> and not getting paid for it. I look at the allergies, I'm crying all day long. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I know. It's, it's we terrible. have had a lot of smoke from uh, the fires, you know, North Nevada, Lake Tahoe, all that. You feel it. You do feel it. Um, yeah. How do you feel about the entertainment that's, uh, that's supposedly to be back 
I don't see it as back as much as everybody's saying. I see we're having events and I see different things are happening, but I don't see the true entertainment actually in Vegas yet. Yeah, well, we had this past whole week, we had the Mexican independence celebrations and we are in the middle of the Spanish heritage um, month. And yeah. it's been impressive that all the Mexican and Latin stars came back for concerts and they packed. And it's yeah. a lot of people in Las Vegas and the street coming for the concerts. And the headliners and the shows like Cirque du Soleil or all those, there's few like the Chippendales and Magic Mike and all those, they're already on. Not yes, so they're, they're that getting they are doing it. And uh, little by little, Cirque du Soleil is coming back. I think everybody is saying that they will start working. You know, they already announced that they are coming and up reopening between October, November to be all on by December, by the end of the year, it will be like regular. Everybody Thanksgiving, will I think it's Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and New Year's they're preparing themselves for, which is kind of like a big coming out party. Um, Ezo, what do you think of, of, have you ever been to Vegas? I have, and I actually really want to go, um, at least for- You've never time. been to Vegas? You don't live that far away. <laughs> <laughs> Just <on the> other <laughs> side. <laughs> it's um, definitely have on my bucket list. I, I want to come in and do a little bit of gambling, drinking. Other a little of bit of gambling. Well, you might end up doing a lot of gambling. <laughs> well, you know, you know what is great is that after the show, Azo, I'm going to send you and Patricia an invitation to Ninon's las vegas show so you'll have an invite you'll you already know someone in vegas ninon de vir de yeah. Yeah. yeah you can both come on my show yes i'd love to have you on my show in vegas i film it out of i don't know if you've heard of the um the house theater the art house theater have you heard of that patricia the what out it's called the art house theater that's yeah. on third street third and oh, gas downtown. Downtown, by downtown. Yeah, it's in the it's in the art section. That's where we film our uh, our show Vegas Live with Nina. And so it's you know we'll, we'll get you invited on that, okay? Yeah, I'll be excited to. And then I you like can to... write. Then you can write about us every week. Of course. <laughs> there you but go. You can write about us and what, what the guests we're having and what we're doing. Of <laughs> right, Azo. So Azo, you have a, a you can come out here and you can come on my show there as well. Okay. I appreciate the invite. Yes. So you've only got this one song out, Azo. Now I'm I'm surprised that you, you're not really in the business, but you are. Do you want to be in the business, in the music business? I definitely do. I actually have out um a, a, I think it's about 43, I think. 43 is the three um I call they're called album. You can call them the album or mixtape, whichever you prefer. They have about twelve songs each and a uh, couple of different singles. I've been I've been releasing music since like the end of 2018, 2018. Just kind of here and there, kind of spacing it out, you know, allowing myself. You got kind you got kind of caught in the COVID thing, and that's sort of you know that's set back a lot of people. Just when you were getting it all together and putting it out there, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. All of us got shut down and sent home <laughs> uh, under, under guidance of whomever, <laughs> because the whole world got shut down. Um, what sort of music do you write, and what do you like to sing? Um, I, I like to. I pride myself in being versatile, so I like to write. I write rap music, R and B music. I have reggae songs. I've written pop songs for other individuals. Uh, just kind of all over the place. I like light rock. I listen to a little bit. Of it. I think that's yeah. why I'm kind of all over it's the place. It's funny you mentioned reggae, um, and that comes from Jamaica, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Not many. You don't have much of the the reggae, and that reggae is very um very much like the rappers. Right. You know, they got that same sort of that same beat and that same kind of kind of rhythm and everything. Where did you get that from? Ah, uh, just just early influences like uh, my dad he's a music head so he would just sit us in his car we just listen to songs all day and all night long it's just it just stuck with me 
kind of ran with it when I started music. It's funny how um, how we relate to our family, whether they're in the business or not, but how we relate to our family and either going to church or singing with them in the car, how it, it makes a performer later on. Um, and they start very young, just, you know, it's just as a fun thing and how they become great singers and incredible um, people out there in the music world, because music is never going to leave this world. It's it's. You can listen, you can be at home all day long and listen to it. I would definitely, I would lose it if I lost music. You'd lose it, I know, we're all losing. Now back to you, Patricia, I, I've often wondered um, how, how does somebody um, like yourself write about, write articles about um, obviously the entertainment business in Vegas? Um, how do you get your articles? Do you, do you go out a lot? Do you, how, how do you research them? Well, mostly, uh, I was a casino host at the Mirage for almost 10 years. And I started, you know, learning most of all, besides my own excitement and my own taste. All yeah. my customers that came asked a lot of questions that they said, I don't know what's going on. Uh, they asked me to recommend shows and all those things, what to do, where to go. And I started realizing that it's different, you know, for, for example, for Latin people, or they yeah. are older, or very young, depending on the on the different kind of uh, guests that I had, they had different tastes. So I started trying to get involved and get to know every single show, every single restaurant, everything. So I could oh. recommend something that I knew that they would like. Yeah. Yes. Because I say, according to the age, because, you know, you remember the show Humanity, I loved it, but I knew if I sent some some anity from uh, Cirque du Soleil that was the adult oh, yes, yes. Yes. show, yes. Yeah. it was very good. But it was good. I knew if I send oh if I send my aunt here or if I recommend it to this, they're gonna kill me, you know. <laughs> and some other kind of people loved it, so I started yes. you know, and then I even created my own magazine with some partners in Mexico a few years ago. Like a guide, exactly, to different, but it wasn't not just for Latins. It was bilingual, it was in English and in Spanish for everybody, you know, yes. with a very practical guide and little, you know, recommendations and reviews or something for everything. So since then, since I've been here, I got here and before getting a job, I started getting credential as a journalist with the magazine that I was writing for it was an international magazine, but made in Mexico. Yeah. So I started you know, getting credential to the events and everything. And the city welcomed me fabulously. <laughs> and then I just kept going. And I've been several magazines and always doing that with that excitement. Well, yes, because um, a majority of the hotels want their name out there and they want, you know, they want the publicity as to what they've, what shows they've got. And then that goes into the Internet and the Internet people read the hotels they go to. What can they see? It's like I've got people asking me, well, Nina, what shows do you have in Vegas? And I'm like, I don't know. Let me check it all out. But, exactly. but you have to have somewhere to go to know what is going on and what is happening. And I think that's very, very important for people like you, because you are the one that actually gives the message out there of who's in town and what they're doing. And, and, and you know, exactly. if, if it wasn't for you, we, we don't know what's going on and what's happening. Exactly. And if you are promoting the city or you are servicing your guests or something, you need to have the information. I call it like firsthand information, you know, personal that I know and I make my recommendations or something a little more close. Yes, it would be it would be like you writing an article about uh, your experience here on Ninon Speaks, right, Patricia, with Azo and Ninon and I, and you could write an article about that. Yeah, it has, sure. It has we to come. A lot of material, and we believe that I'm going to see more of your shows and see the other show. I want to be invited to it, and of course, that this has been a fantastic experience. I used to do a lot of radio, a little of TV, but these things and remote and zooms and all that—it's so new. I was kind of nervous, but you make me feel so comfortable, and I love it. I love that experience. But also, you know, I'm not like myself. Yeah, it's funny you should say that because um, 
Vegas Live with Nina, when we've gone into this theater where we're going to have um, an audience. So it's a place where people can come down and sit and be part of the audience. We do, we shoot every, um, or film, should I say, we film every Wednesday from four o'clock to five o'clock. And we have an audience down there. People come down and watch the show and see what's going on and what's happening. And it gives them something else to do and something else, you know, especially in the art district. Um, that's very popular in Vegas. Fantastic. And I love what they're doing in the arts district. How much it has been growing. Wow, it's right. fabulous. Yeah, they've really brought it. In other words, they've cleaned it up <laughs> yeah. because it was, it was run down a lot. And now they've cleaned it up, and people aren't afraid to go there anymore. Um, hey, so um, so how do you write your songs? How do you get the lyrics, and how do you get it put it all together? Um, I think when you say how, it's more so like a feeling thing for me. So in a particular mood, I may uh jot some words down like feelings down and then i may it may build into a song or i might have these loose lyrics here and then i'm working on something way later and then i go back and i see this oh that fits i might put this right here and split it's it's um it's really different sometimes i write sometimes i don't it's it kind of just how i'm feeling it's like a feeling thing for me nina can i ask a question no <laughs> now, that's, now, now that's funny. That is funny. Um, I have a question for Azo. Azo, can you tell us a little bit about flashbacks and what it means, the message to you and the world? It's it's more so of a song that it lightly details some of my past experiences. It highlights some of the better moments in my life, some of the worst moments, moments where I was doing things that I didn't necessarily want to do. Um, it's like, like, and I, see, you notice that about a lot of things that I do, it's kind of like all over the place, but well, still well put together in a sense. Because do you I'm, have a... a like, do you have a beginning, a middle, and an end when you when you actually write the lyrics? Most of the time, yes. Because most everything in the film business um, that has the beginning, the middle, and the end, and obviously the high part is the middle. You you drive yourself into it, and then you get to that epitome, and then you drive yourself out of it, and right. um, and and kind of close it out. I've never really asked that question, but I was just thinking if they if you have that, and you do. I do. Yeah. yeah, you do. So you you relate a lot of your songs and what you do um, around your family and your lifestyle? Most of all, yes. Uh, um, sometimes I write in the point of view of others. It, it really depends on how I'm feeling or uh, my purpose that I have for it when, when I start doing it. Yeah. So you, I noticed what you're going to have a little baby on the on the show. How old is that? Looks like a pretty young, young little soul. Uh, he will be three months and five days. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh. What what difference did that make to your life um, as a man? Um, he said, "Yes, that's my second son. I have another five. He actually lives in Texas. I don't I don't really get to see much of him. So it's like." It was big for me having another baby. It's like a second chance, in my opinion, um, to be a father again. Something but I, do you feel you're going to be, a, well, I don't like to say this, but I will. Do you think you're going to be a better father the second time around than the first time? I don't know if I would say better, but I'm, I'm, I'll am i be present more. So I, I'll That's definitely- That's better. Have so how old is your first son he's five he's five years old and is is it the same mother or different different mums different mom. hmm? mm -hmm. yeah that's okay i mean that this is we're living in 2021 right patricia yes oh yeah well, it's, it's all, it doesn't, uh, it's funny because you, you don't really have to be kind of married anymore. You, you can have children and it's all accepted and it's all fine. And I, I happen to agree with that. I, I, I think it's, um, I think with this day and age and what we're doing and how we're, we're going through life, I think it's perfectly all right. Right. I like to think that everything happens for a reason. Yes. 
Well, especially when you bring children into the world, because you are bringing a, another human being that's at least um, 20 to 30 years younger than you, that are going to be the next generation growing up. You know, I wonder if most people understand when they have children, and it can be 15, it can be 30, it can be 40, but there's always that great big age difference that we're bringing into the world and it, it, to, to continue the world, you know, as they will know it, as we have lived it. Right, right. And it's different, very, very different. Patricia, you have children? No, I don't, I never did. I have fabulous nephews and nieces, but I never had children. You're like I am. I never. I wanted to have children. I tried to have children. But I didn't have children. But I'm the same as you. I have. I have loads and loads of nephews and nieces. And I was looking at uh, my mother. Had she's passed away since she had her ninetieth birthday, and there was like seventy five to hundred close relatives. I'm thinking this yeah. is sort of a large family. <laughs> I already have a great great uh, grand nephew. Great, you know that. Great. Well, it's not the, the a grandmother, the great grandmother, and uh, great great, yeah, bisnieto. You know, it's called like a. It's the third generation or fourth generation of mine, down. A cousin of mine got married, had a kid very young, and then her daughter very young, her granddaughter very young, and now the granddaughter has another a, a baby, a three year old. <laughs> No, That's my nephew, but it's like four generations. It's fabulous, and I feel still young, and I'm still already counting. You know, um, that that kind of uh, three, four generations to the front. I are you uh, are you teaching any of them to go into journalism? Oh, I wish I'm not such in contact, but uh, they all follow me. They all like what I do. I share all my columns, my magazines, and my posts and everything with them and we are a very artistic family i have a niece that is such a great painter and writer she has written like three novels and oh, wow. beautiful paintings since she was two years old you couldn't imagine the the two years old she started it. writing uh, wow two years yeah, old she started writing yeah she was a, always was a painter and you suddenly she wrote a novel and two more essays and something, and she's a writer now. But it's good. She's good. And all my other nephews are, they draw fabulously and they are like a graphic designers and very artistic. We all are. So you have that, that, that same sort of sort of thing in your family. That, 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 yeah. um, what about your family, as well? is, is that the same thing? Um, a lot of people in my family more so do not very artistic, I would say. I, I'm one of the few, really. My wife is very artistic. Um, I have, um, I think I got a step brother who does music too, um, but not very artistic. They don't. It doesn't run in your family, so you're, you're, no. you're, you're, you're making a step. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it is so wonderful that Azo stands out because he's the artist in the family and he can lead the way and inspire the rest of his family. Speaking of inspiration, um, it's been a wonderful show and we have to wrap up, Nino. I just wanted to let you know that. that. Did it go that fast? Oh my goodness. That's the fastest 26 minutes I've ever had. <laughs> um, Azo, how can we find, how can anybody reach you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It's uh, AYZO137. I'm also on Facebook. It's AY space ZO. Um, pretty easy to get in touch with on, on both of those. Pretty active. Do you write music for other people? I do, yes. You do? Okay, so that's good to have that out there. So anybody out there that they want something written or they want to have it brushed up or they want to put it together, uh, Azo is the one to go to. Patricia, what about you? How can people reach you um, to advertise um, their hotels and all the um, entertainment and what's coming up? Okay, well, I wanted to also tell you a little about the party that we were talking on the beginning. Uh, we had the Senoras of Excellence, Senoras of Distinction Awards Gala. It's a yearly gala to honor, to get uh, funds to give uh, scholarships uh, along with the Latin Chamber of Commerce of Las Vegas for students 
And we already have one of our students that have been with the scholarship since uh, several years working for NASA. We have doctors, we have- Oh, uh, wow. Nice. No, I'm very proud of, be part of being part of this. And the website, just to check everything and see all the events and all the photos and videos of, and all the information about these fabulous foundations, sandypeltingfoundation.com. So it's Sandy Wonderful. with the uh, wife, pelting with wife, foundation.org, O-R-G. And they can find me on the Facebook as Patricia Alcalde. I just started on Instagram. I have to learn how to use it. And uh, <laughs> I can give you my number, you know. If, I'm, yeah, number if you want to give your number out. Question, I'll be very, and my email. It's Alcalde, like my, my last name, A-L-C-A-L-D-E underscore Patricia at hotmail.com. And my number is 702-467-5311. And sure. I can find that. If I don't know it, I will find out for you. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Mia Magazine is uh, getting bigger and bigger. And we are already preparing several columns for the next uh, issue by the end of the year, you know, it comes for December, uh, November, December. So we're doing very interesting uh, articles besides entertaining a little bit of history, traditions, uh, meaning of many things and events. events. And you're gonna be on there. You're gonna be on there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, AJ, would you like to say something? Thank you. It's been a wonderful show, Ninon. And yes, um, thank you so much to Azo and Patricia. You're absolutely wonderful. And we wish you the best of success and continued wonderful efforts that you do. Ninon? Thank you, everybody out there for watching uh, Ninon Speaks with uh, AJ and Ninon as we put this show together. We've been going over um, it's about a year and a couple of months now. We're doing extremely well. Without you, nothing happens. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week.